This right here might just take Escapé Gourmand's number one place. Yeah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi everyone, my name is Nari and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can support me and stay up to date with all my weekly uploads. All right, let's get started. So, this lovely lady is creme brulee from the house of La Capuche by perfumer Jonathan Blanc. So, I first saw this on Fragrantica and I noticed the note breakdown was very, very similar to Escapade Gourmand, which is a fan favorite. Like, do what, does she even need an introduction? So, I checked YouTube and I checked TikTok, but literally only like two or three people had posted about it. And the reviews that were posted, they really didn't sway me in one direction or the other. So naturally, my undiagnosed ADHD took over and I bought it. But this is one of one of those times where my lack of impulse control really won. Yeah, please. Let me show you the packaging. It came in this wonderful box and it just opens up like this and boom, there she is in all her glory, Miss Creme Brulee. If I can get this out. So on initial spray, this smells like fluffy marshmallows but in like the most elegant expensive way okay not like gooey sickening sickeningly sickeningly whatever nauseating <laughs> it's so ethereal and airy If you're not a fan of light scents, then this is definitely not for you whatsoever. It's almost fleeting in a sense. Like it's almost like your your nose is just chasing after the scent. Why are you running? Why are you running? This also has like texture to it as well. Like you can smell the brown sugar crystals. It's the absolute weirdest but coolest thing. I don't think I have a, a perfume that I can smell the texture of, which is, yeah, I love it. The opening paints a picture in my mind of cracking the, the top of the creme brulee, like the, the caramelized sugary crust of the creme brulee with your spoon. That's exactly what I get right now for the opening. It's fantastic. Like, I just can't stop smelling <laughs> my hand. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Don't mind. But for the dry down, can you actually believe this gets sweeter? It gives you less sugar and more vanilla. It becomes slightly less wispy and more creamy, but yet it still retains that fluffy marshmallowy quality to it. It's crazy though because I've been searching for the perfect marshmallow fragrance and who knew all along I needed a creme brulee fragrance? Like what? <laughs> like it's to the point where I want a marshmallow fragrance as my signature scent and I think this might be it like I was using um Kayali Yum Pistachio because that has a really nice marshmallowy quality to it as well but I think this might replace that well not replace because that has Yum Pistachio has like solidified a place in my heart but yeah and I should also mention that the deep, deep dry down, 
you get brown sugar. Like the the marshmallowiness dies down and you just get straight nice coarse brown sugar. So who is this for? This is definitely a feminine perfume. There's nothing woody, aldehydic, fresh about it. It's a true gourmand in my opinion. But it's not a cheapy foodie type of gourmand. So you're, it doesn't smell like food per se. It just smells really nice and really elegant. It's not very loud or projecting either. But you will have a nice um, sillage when you walk by somebody. It's definitely more of an intimate scent. Not a skin scent. Just one that stays very close to you. Like, in my mind, okay, just bear with me here. In my mind, I see a woman dressed in white with her hair, like, tied up in a bun, red lipstick on, like, a spring or summer day, just enjoying all the finer things in life, wearing silk, okay, carrying Birkins and all types of designer bags. Look, that's classy Jen over there. Uh, trying to be all fancy. <laughs> and she's just, like, people are just drawn to her, you know? She's just confident and classy and elegant. That's, that's the vibe I imagine in my head. If that's any... Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I'm imagining in my head. That's the picture it paints for me, at least. This isn't offensive either. You can spray and spray and spray this and you won't choke yourself or the people in the room with you. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is a delicate scent, right? So, it's not projecting um, or anything like that. So, I wouldn't necessarily layer it with another perfume unless that perfume is also very delicate and very light for example um hold on a moment for example png parfum this one is very light also very lightly marshmallowy sweet these two can have i not been showing the bottle the entire time oh my god I'm so sorry guys. This is the bottle, by the way, if I didn't show it before. Pretty, pretty colored juice, all that. <clears throat> but yeah, back to my, the point I was making. Um, D&G is also a light, fluffy, strawberry, raspberry, marshmallowy scent. So scents like this is the only thing I would pair with this. Because this is so delicate, it will get overtaken by any other perfume that it gets paired with. I wouldn't even pair it with Escapade Gourmand, but I'll get to that in a second, so just bookmark that. Um, but what I will pair it with, other than like a D&G Parfum, is perfume oils. So these are all from Accent Oil. This one is White Chocolate Bliss. This one is Golden Praline. And this one is Crispy Marshmallow Delight. And this one, these, I'm not, I wouldn't even mix it, like put it directly on my skin. I would mix it in with like another body lotion or something like that. Like unscented or scented, it doesn't matter really. But yeah, that's how I would quote-unquote layer um, creme brulee. She's just so pretty, isn't she? Look at you, y'all. She's so cute. If I were wearing this and I would wanting to, for it to project, I would start in the shower with a vanilla scented or caramel scented, um, brown sugar scented body wash. And then immediately out of the shower, I'd be combining these two not like 
putting this on and then rolling this on, I would literally open this up, pour the oil out, mix it with the lotion, and let that be that. So that's just a little tip for you. So for the question that you had that you didn't know you had, how does creme brulee compare to escapade gourmand? Oh, what can I say, bro? These two have my heart. <laughs> like, it's actually ridiculous. So they both have an almost identical note breakdown. Um, I'll put them both on the screen for you guys to take a look at. Um, Escapade Gourmand is a bit more like maple syrupy. And creme brulee is marshmallow brown sugar. Those are the two biggest differences between these two. Escapade Gourmand also has a lot more depth as well, whereas creme brulee is very airy, very light, again, very delicate, um, very ethereal. They're both thick straights though, so they both have very good longevity. But I will say creme brulee has a better longevity on my skin. Um, I wash my hands, like I sprayed this on my hand when I first got it. Um, it was on there for hours, washed my hand, could still smell it. So I'll give longevity to creme brulee. But I think Escapade Gourmand could appeal to a wider audience. Um, so creme brulee is, again, marshmallowy brown sugary so it's very specific and very feminine whereas escapade gourmand is a pure vanilla right and it also has a slight freshness about it so i think this will appeal to someone who wants a vanilla scent but doesn't necessarily want to smell super sweet and sugary either way these are both gorgeous right like i'm not knocking either one because clearly I have both right <laughs> but if you can afford the two get both like you will not be disappointed right but if you want one because the, the prices don't really matter with these because they're both really expensive I think Escapade Gourmand was like 200 pound and then this was like 130 I think this is more expensive Per ounce because this is 130 for 50 mils and this is 150 I mean this is 200 for 100 mils so at least I think this was 100 mils I'm pretty sure this is 100 mils uh, correct me if I'm wrong please so how would you decide between the two if you're a pure vanilla girl get Escapade Gourmand. You won't be disappointed. But if you're into light, airy perfumes that are non-offensive, get um, creme brulee. But to be fair, I love this scent. I'm really happy I took the risk and bought it. Um, shipping wasn't too bad either, right? To the UK, it took about a week, which is like slow because it's coming from France, but most of it was the weekend so it doesn't even matter um although the shipping was kind of expensive it was like 19 euros so that's meh kind of put me off but again it was a risk <laughs> and it paid off in the end right so let me know in the comments if you do decide to try creme brulee i need to fangirl with someone like, I need to talk about this perfume more. <laughs> or if you know something similar to this, right? Something in this family, this creme brulee, escapade gourmand family, right? I think this is officially my most favorite scent profile. And now I need to collect all the infinity stones of this scent profile. <laughs> I don't care how similar they, they smell. I just need to have a lifetime supply of this 
brown sugar, vanilla, caramel, creme brulee scent. Like, I love it so much. I didn't think I would love it that much, but ugh, I've, I'm addicted now. So yeah, thank you for sticking with me to the end. I know I was kind of rambling a bit all over the place, but I'm new to this YouTube thing, to this face recording thing. Um, so yeah, just bear with me. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!